Now, I have a wine bottle set up in front of me, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this here so you can see this is a guide as to what I'm doing. So you can see the general shapes. So get myself a piece of paper. And first of all, I'm going to take a few measurements. I'm going to check first how many times this little neck would fit into the bottle. So, one, two, three. Okay, so now we know the neck of the bottle is a quarter of the full bottle because that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so that'll help me when I'm doing my bottle. So, I'm going to put in my central axis line. I'm going to keep it roughly to the centre of the page. Again, I'm using a 4B pencil so you can see, but you can use 2B pencil to start with until you're happy and you can come back with the 4B pencil. Now I decide how big I want my bottle to be. So I'm going to go about there. So I know that I want the bottom of it to be here and the top of it to be here. So now let's measure that. So that's 22. Do you know what, to make life easier, and um, I'm just going to make it 20. So 20 divided by 4 is 5. So now I know that's where the neck of the bottle is going to be, and this is where the body of the bottle is going to be. Now, so using my basic unit of measurement, um, let's just take the neck of the bottle. I'm going to figure out how that, that, that measurement there for the neck of the bottle, how does that compare to the width of the bottle? Okay, so it's about, the width of the bottle is about the same as the neck of the bottle, it's about five. So I'm going to come two and a half, and two and a half on either side of my line, that makes five. So, I'm just making sure that's straight. So now I know that's how wide I want my bottle to be. And the neck of the, the bottle, um... I measure that it's about ooh, it's a tough one to call but I think if it's not quite it's it's skinnier than half it's about a third I'm going to I'm going to eyeball this I'm going to come one centimeter on either side of my central axis line for now and just lightly put in making sure my line is straight I can always adjust this before I put my ellipses in if it looks wrong I'm just mapping in at the moment so that's the neck of the bottle and now I'm going to come down here and put another mark um, two and a half on either side of that central axis line. And I'm just going to do map in where the outside of the bottle would be, trying to make sure I keep my line straight. Okay, so then this would be the bottom of the bottle. And this would be the top. Um <clears throat> this part here is a teensy weensy li weensy little bit above my eye level. I mean not much. So I'm going to put in a teeny mark, just a tiny bit above my central line there. And if it's that much there, it needs to be about the same on the bottom. So just a teeny weeny little bit. So now I have my four points. And I'm going to put this in lightly to start with because I want to judge to see does that um, the neck of the bottle look okay compared to the rest before I go any further. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put it in lightly on the top and at the bottom. The bottom is below my eye level. Not by much and I'm going to eyeball this. I'm going to give it oh maybe half a centimetre on either side. Again there's no mathematical formula for how um, how many centimeters to put uh, depending how low it is below your eye line and um, it's just you you judge by, by what's in front of you so if, as you can see that's a tiny bit above my eye line which means i think roughly here is my eye line okay so i think below this point the curves go downwards i think above this point the curves go upwards now so there's my four points. Now I've decided I'm looking at the object in front of me and I haven't made that deep enough. If, if I judge by what's in front of me, that curve there is actually deeper than what I have it. So I'm gonna actually bring it down just a little bit more. 
that was my central line. The same above my central line. Yeah, now I'm happier with that. Another way to do the bottom of the bottle, let's just say, let's just say you knew that this was the bottom of the bottle and you didn't want to go any lower. So that's not your central line. So what you do then is you kind of judge um, how wide you want your circle to be by judging how much below your eye level it is. I think it's about there. And then you put, you measure the distance between there and there. In this case it's one centimeter so the halfway point is half a centimeter and you use that as your central line. And then you put your points on either end of that line and now you join up your four points. Okay. So and then just to finish off, what we do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this shape here and I'm going to use the help of negative space to get that right. And I know making sure that it's the same on the other side. Sometimes that can be tough getting the left and right correct, but the central axis line will help you to judge. What you could also do is you can judge where the bottom of the cur curve is and make sure that the bottom of the curve comes to the same on the other side. I know this is very technical guys, but if you learn some of these techniques now, they become natural to you and you won't have to be using rulers and mathematics so much once you get used to it. Okay, now to fix it up. So now this is my eye level. So I think above this line it curves upwards so I know that it's, I need to keep the top line like that and I think below that line is going um, down below my eye level so it's the bottom curve that's the important one. And then I just map in my lines once I know they're correct. I go a little bit heavier. Okay, I can rub out my guidelines in once I'm happy that everything is placed correctly. And I'm just going to put in the edge of my table behind. Okay. And that object then is ready if you want to start shading. Now, I rubbed out the back of the the lines here and here but remember if this object was see-through which it's not you could leave them in let's just say it's a glass you could leave that line in to show the bottom and the top but it's up to you because this is a solid object I'm rubbing them out and that's your realistic looking wine bottle practice that have fun and I promise this technique does get easier as you practice it okay